So are you afraid to make mistakes when you're performing in front of others? Well, most people will say that's the whole point. That's, that's what I'm afraid of, right? I'm afraid of not doing the job right when I'm on stage or just when my mom comes into my room and cramp up, right? Uh, so what's the way out of that? Well, it is to use a psychological term called gradual desensitization, where you simply do the thing you fear, but you do it in small portions along the way. So you don't go into, you know, you know no Wembley Stadium right off the bat. You, you need to gradually ooze into Wembley, Wembley Station and like 100,000 in the audience, right? So what you do is you invite people into your room it's just to play for them. Just come for five minutes, hear me play this, you know. And then you do that every day and gradually it's like, it's nothing, right? Um, and then you do something else. You might sit in the street and play. <gasps> That's awkward. Yeah, but force yourself to do it. We need to push ourselves like that, right? So if you are afraid of elevators and you are afraid to go into an elevator, you were even afraid to go near an elevator, it's like, <gasps> it's an irrational fear. Then you would, you know, sit next to an elevator and go, ha, 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 there's an elevator, ha, ha, the doors are coming up, ha, I don't want to go into it. And then gradually your body gets tired of being afraid and then it just gradually goes, okay, so there's an elevator, right? Then you might put one foot in the elevator, take it out again. That's the process. But when you are afraid of performing in front of others, that's a legitimate fear. And there's a reason why, because you come from a completely different environment than you used to. You used to live in caves, right? Walk around with fur on your body, and you were dependent on other people for your survival, right? So you're a pack animal, you got no fur, you cannot outrun a small dog. Most people can't, right? You got no claws, you got nothing, but you got an advantage that's crazy over other animals. You can cooperate with other people. You can, you can make 10 people act as one, or a million people, or a hundred million people act as one, because we're so intelligent, right? So if you are thrown out of the group, out of the pack, because nah, we don't want you in here, me, you can't contribute anything valuable, right? So go with you, then you're dead in the matter of days. So because of that programming still being in your body, you think, or parts of you think that when you're on stage and people are looking at you, then if you don't do well, then you will be thrown out of the group, out on the open field, and you'll be eaten by a lion. That's actually what the fear is about. So you could say that it's highly irrational in this environment, right? <laughs> but we're still afraid of making mistakes. So what do we do about it? Well, we desensitize ourselves to it gradually. And you can even make mistakes, right? Just to try and make mistakes in front of other people. And then gradually you have a larger and larger audience and you do it often. That's the key. If you can get into a gig where you play in the same band every single night, Every single night you're playing, you know, and you make mistakes, but then you, you know, it just, so what, right? And people don't know how it's supposed to sound. They don't. So, you know, I was once playing in a band where I, you know, I forgot half of the song. So I just stopped playing when the verse was on, right? <laughs> suddenly just stopped, you know, so I was playing and then suddenly I playing the riff and then the, the verse, I couldn't remember the chords. So I stopped playing and my friend afterwards, he came and say, I said, do you remember? I couldn't remember the chords of the verse. And he said, oh, I just thought that that was how it's supposed to sound, right? The guitar doesn't play in the verse. So, so by doing that and by pushing yourself a little every single day, preferably uh, doing small performances, saying yes to every performance, also in the nursing home, playing for old people, right? Every single performance you can get, you just do it over and over again and gradually you might be just a tad little bit nervous, right? But that's the cool thing about playing in front of other people. But the destructive, uh, and that's the only way. The, the only thing you can do before that is that you can visualize playing in front of others. So close your eyes, uh, imagine the people are out there, look at people, hey, hey, right, yeah, I'm, you know. And, and that's what we do when we go to therapy. Therapy, we go to therapy, right? We imagine our dad sitting in a chair and then come on, let it out. Tell him what you think about him, right? Tell him all the things from your childhood that you didn't like, right? And then we kind of visualize, we play uh, with that thought and the brain kind of can't really distinguish between the reality and what we imagine. So it helps, it really does. But eventually you're going to have to talk to your dad if he's still around, right? <laughs> or you're going to have to stay in front of people and play in front of people in order to, to get the direct experience of it. So those are the words. Hope to see you in one of the next videos here.